Okay, everybody, a lot of you wanted to have a video showing how to take the air assist off and clean it. I'm going to do this part of the video showing you how to take it off, and then we'll come back with another one to show you how to clean it. Super easy. So the first thing you want to do is take your laser head off. Of course, hopefully you know how to do that by now. You simply push on this little tab right here, and you'll take the uh, white cable off just like that. Be very uh, gentle. Don't bend this thing. We're going to set this off to the side. I'm going to fold this back up underneath so it doesn't get in the way. And now I'm going to show you how to take this guy off and how to put it back on again not without using any tools at all. So one of the first things I want you to see is underneath here, and you'll look back over there at that um, gear right here. There's a gear right there and a gear right here on this end that this whole belt travels along. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this belt off without having to use any tools. So let me show you how I do that. So the first thing I do, uh, don't be afraid that you're going to break this belt because you won't. I'm going to just pull this belt down and get my thumb in it. So go. Uh, so you want to do this, and you see how I've got my thumb in the belt? What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it a little bit toward the center of it here so that I can start working this belt toward that corner. And with my thumb in here, when I move this gantry toward the corner and I start pulling down on the belt, it's just going to come right off of that uh, gear in the corner. So I'm just going to simply pull down on the belt and move the gantry toward the corner. And it's going to come right off like, of course this is fun because I have a horrible angle here with the camera, but it's going to come off just like that. It's just going to fall right off. And then it, now we've got both sides of this off. And now what we need to do is take the gantry off of this uh, this arm here. Or, I'm sorry, the, the plate off of the gantry. So we're going to do that now, as soon as I stop dropping lights here. So what you're going to do now is you're going to pull this thing forward because there's some springs under there. And we're going to pull it forward so that it will fall off of this rail. So if I just simply pull it forward like this and drop it down, it falls right off. All right? So that's how that comes off. And then here is the uh, air assist fan right here. And you see that mine's pretty dirty, uh, so it's time to clean it. And what you're going to do, I'll show you this in another video, but what you're going to do is you're going to turn this over. You're going to take a photo of this so that you know how this all goes together. And you just simply take these four uh, Allen screws off, those hex uh, screws off there. Not hex, what word am I looking for? Torx, whatever. You're going to take those off. You're going to clean off the fan. Uh, using some, maybe a bottle brush, some small brushes, maybe uh, a canned air, that kind of thing. And then put this back on the way that it sits right here. It is very easy to put this on upside down or backwards, so make sure you take a picture of it first. Then, to put this back on, it's really easy, and this is the part that I get excited teaching people how to do because uh, they think they can't do it, and then they find out that they can. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, I want to lay this down so you can see how it's supposed to go on here. This belt is not a continuous circle. It actually is split right here and it's just pinched in by this device uh, and tightened by this uh, screw right here. So what happens is um, you, may, you need to make sure that you have the teeth of this belt facing in. So both ways, just like this, this is correct. This is incorrect. So you gotta do it just like that. And make sure that this belt is right here and not on the outside of these wheels, all right? So right here. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to pick this up, we're gonna attach it to the gantry here, and then we're gonna take this far right end and put it around the gear on the right side, and then we're gonna put the left side on. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna lift this thing back up, we're going to put it under here, and this uh, rail right here goes right against these wheels, and then there's another rail or another uh, ledge on the other side of this one that goes right inside these wheels. And so we're going to push it up here like this. And we're going to catch the back wheels on the back rail. And Ange, if you can move down a little bit lower and see if you can possibly catch underneath, perhaps. I don't know if you can or not. My wife is being the camera person here. She's awesome. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that is caught on the back rail there. And if you see the front one, you can come back up again for a minute. And uh, let Angie get a grip on her phone here a little more comfortably because I know she's doing great. Um, You'll see how these wheels right here are not on this ledge yet, but the back ones are. All I've got to do is pull this plate forward because there are springs on the back wheels. 
and it's going to allow me to uh, connect it to the front rail here. So I'll try to do this without getting my hands in the way if I can. And I'm just going to pull it forward and just like that. I'll do it again. Pull it back, pull it toward myself, drop it off the rails. I'm going to catch it on that back rail just like that. If You'll know that you're in the right place if you see that it's sitting about right here. If the wheels are way underneath, you're too far. So I've got it on the back rail, and I'm just going to push it a little bit toward myself, and there it is right there, and when it moves easy, it's on. We are almost done. Now we're going to go over here. We're going to put this one on this gear that's way up underneath. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to be pulling on it and give it a little bit of tension here on this end because that way that one, that one won't fall off on you. And now this is where, Andrew, we're going to want to get as, as low as we can here. And I want them to see how I've got it sitting here underneath. And as usual with cameras here, I can't quite get where I want to be, but we're going to get close enough. So let me do that. And uh, let me get situated here for just a second. All right. So I have got this, uh, this belt is the word I'm looking for. Belt. I've got it on the front side, which is the side closest to me. I've got it on the front side of that gear, but I don't have it on the back because I can't stretch it enough to get it on the back. So I've just got it pinched here. I've got my index finger. Sometimes people use their ring finger, but I've got my index finger pinching it right here on this gear. And then I've got my thumb up here uh, squeezing down on this piece. So I'm, I've got a little bit of tension here holding this, uh, this, this belt, wow, this belt on that gear. And now I'm going, to, I'm going to take the plate here and I'm going to move it toward myself this direction while I'm squeezing here. And that's going to make the belt just ride up that gear onto the gear. So watch this. If I move this one, I'm going to just move it toward myself while I'm squeezing the gear over here, while I'm squeezing the belt on the, on the gear. And there it goes. It popped right on. And there it is. I'm gonna do it really fast once again. Pull this belt down. I'm gonna pop it off right like that. It's now off. I'm gonna then make sure it's on the right side. I'm gonna put it right on the gear here. I'm gonna put some pressure on it with my index finger and my thumb on the top. Push the gantry toward the, uh, the gear while I'm squeezing. And there it is right there and you are done. That's all it takes to take this on and off really easy. I'll do another video to show you how to clean it.